And can you look at a cartoon and come up with a voice? Well, like with Happy Feet, I, I got to be, like, I played two different characters. Initially three, but then the, the, there were that the one voice sounded too familiar. But when I got to play an Argentinian penguin, <laughs> is to play the little machismo penguin, you know, the, the guys, the Argentinian guys were going, what do you, do you know you want it? <laughs> what are you looking at? Do you know you want it? Look at it. Don't be afraid of the flippers. I love you. <laughs> I brought you some pebbles. There's some bling, baby. You want some bling? You know you do. <laughs> yes, you're hot, and you know I got a beak that'll make you feel so good. <laughs> and then you had, like, all the crazy ones, you know? Listen, talking about animation, uh, we got people in our audience uh, to, to draw cartoons oh, right. of themselves. <laughs> no. Now, I'm sensing, I'm sensing <laughs> self-esteem issues. Well, uh, let's see. Now, oh, no. now, God forbid, when I ask to see this woman in the audience, that she looks like this. <laughs> I am not, you better not put that up on a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I will bitch slap your bare ass around the stage. <laughs> I will be on you like shit on Velcro. <laughs> yeah. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, show the picture. This is the lady. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, her name is Jane Hayes. Jane Hayes. <laughs> now, let's have a look at Jane in the flesh. Jane? Jane, you're beautiful, Jane. Jane, you're not a, a gay black basketball player. <laughs> Spare a thought for Sally Jenkins and I think her husband. Look at Sally. <laughs> where's Sally, where's Sally, Sally? Suffers from paperclip tits. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sally, you look quite buxom <laughs> with your funny little terrier ears. Look at you. Oh, and, and for some reason you, you've drawn a penis on your own <laughs> face. <laughs> Why has she done that? She's done a penis with two tiny balls. <laughs> and what are those? Those are, well, I don't know, there's two upside down bells. <laughs> oh my god. Is that your husband, Dave? <laughs> that, is that you? Yeah. yeah. And, what, and you're, are, you, are you naked as well? Yeah. What's that oh. strange line? Yeah, but more importantly, what's peeking out here? <laughs> are those your two balls going, I'm down here? <laughs> And why did you have an accordion for a neck? <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah, what's, the, what's with the neck? We were drunk. <laughs> I know that. We were drunk. <laughs> we were drunk. <laughs> no shit. <enough. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who else have I got? I got oh, actually, I'd quite like to see this woman. Uh, Stephanie Jack. Where's Stephanie Jack? Hello, Stephanie Jack. <laughs> now, there's Stephanie Jack in the flesh, and here she is in the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's quite good. <laughs> This is a great Japanese anime character. <laughs> Mr. Titsalot, come to your house. <laughs> she had a big eyes, come to your house with a larger breast. Open the door with her nipples. <laughs> Look at those, humming, 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 humming. Mr. Bouncing Breast, follow the bouncing breast. <laughs> wow. That's kind of what, can I have this one? Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Been on the road for a while. <laughs> Why were you having the, was it a deep tissue massage you were having? Where are you going with this, Gwen? <laughs> weren't you, having, weren't you having a Turkish massage or something? I don't know what it has to do with what we're talking about. But... <laughs> it's a funny story, tell it. <laughs> <clears throat> I had an awful experience having a Turkish massage <laughs> where <laughs> this guy's idea of massage was to, like, take my le one leg and, and the other arm and try and connect it. <laughs> behind my back, and I was kind of like, you know, like that, and then I, well, his belly went in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> my <God. laughs> It was like a little Borat moment. And you know when you get something weird in your mouth and you're like, if you're eating something, you go like, you send your, your brain sends your tongue to figure out what it is? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a conscious thought, it's just like, is that a bone? Figure that out. And your, your tongue goes in to figure it out. My tongue was like, what is that? <laughs> it's a hairy belly. <laughs> sounds like you're heading off a newspaper. <laughs> now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Actually blushing. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
gave me two halves. I, I, think, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 baby yes. in the corner. Are you returning the favour? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and then I tried to watch it this that's season. That's okay, that's okay. And I don't know that's what's okay. going on. I can't keep up. I feel There's so lots bad. of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm a no, 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 no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. No, I, it's tough. Is it all down now? No. no. But this, what is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> that seriously sounds like a chicken has been released into the studio. That's not they right. can't be. No. Is that a, I, I thought it was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault or something. <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> Oh, it's that man there. All oh, right, well, I'm glad you're having Lovely. a nice time. <laughs> Yuck it up! I will, I will. I will <laughs> no, watch, so, I see, promise. I know, no, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's that? Um, so, would you, would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? <laughs> oh, yes, do that. <laughs> oh. you, you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, since I, you know... Haven't been up up to speed on the show. Yes, I will say, thank um, you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I caught that from yeah, back here. It worked. Yes, it did. <laughs> There's well. some scenes where they will play music, maybe a bit of if it's a wide shot and it's not like a, it, so. It's the closest we get to sort of kind of sort of just sort of going for it in one piece, um, and they'll play music or something. And my temptation is always just to try to make the cuddle laugh. So sometimes. I'll do things like when there's a moment where I'm meant to, you know, orgasm, I'll be like, do 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 do. See, people do that. Wait, <laughs> which, by the way, if they don't, they should. It's like a Ryanair flight when a Ryanair flight lands. <laughs> People travel, you know, they collect things, postcards, dolls in national dress. But you collect, like, animals, like, like living animals. Well, no, I don't collect them, I rescue them. Oh, OK. <laughs> I rescue so, did you rescue anything when you were in Sicily and Tuscany? Not in that one, but in the movie I did right after, in Bulgaria, I, I did. OK. And I had, I had promised my husband I was going to stop, because at the time I had ten dogs, Five parrots, uh, I had alpacas, horses, uh, cats, and by the way, one without a tail, the other one without a leg, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they always, they find me, they come to me, these animals, which he doesn't believe me, but they do, and I promise him no more, okay? <laughs> we were up to 30 animals, I, I, I swore no more. <laughs> and, and I was there, and a little puppy who was, abandoned and was going to die. I won't tell you the sad story, because it's a comedic show, and I'll start crying. <laughs> he came to me, and I couldn't help him, and I picked him up. And um, his name is Ochoa, after the, the goalie of the soccer team in Mexico. It was a welcome. And I took him, and then I was terrified. How am I going to explain this to my husband? I promised, I promised. And, um, so I came up with this brilliant idea to pretend that I was having an affair. Mm. <laughs> and then... Ochoa. No, with somebody, to make him think I was having an affair, and at the end I would say, no, it's not an affair, I picked up a dog, and then he would feel better. <laughs> then I picked up a dog... This is clever. Good, good, plan, good plan, good plan. So I left him a message, you must call me at this time, we need to talk, it's very important. And I never do that, and this time, okay, what happened, what happened? And I said, listen, I feel so terrible. I don't know how to say this to you, and I, I know this is not, not going to go down well, and I'm really nervous, and please have mercy on me. Have, <laughs> have patience, be understanding. It's just, it's been so stressful, and I'm so tired, and I was so lonely here for so <laughs> many days, and you know, you do crazy things when you're in this state. And he said to me, oh, please don't tell me you picked up another dog. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can do is you can conjure up uh, people's fears. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So you you're afraid of quite basic things. You I'm yourself. afraid of like most things. Like anything high risk, I'm terrified of. But, but those are rational fears. Okay, irrational is like spiders, because but they actually um, 
I become paralyzed when I when I have a spider in my room. Really? Yeah, I like wish I were tougher than that, but I'm not. Okay. <laughs> now, Mark Ruffalo, were you serious when you told us what your fear is? I mean, it is a, it's a good fear. It's, I think it's a founded fear. I think it's a founded fear. It is. Tell us what it is. Um, I have a phobia of being chased around with poop on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, That's fair. It, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say... I'd say we've all got that fear. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one that goes, it, no, I'm up for that. It's, <laughs> it started when I was a kid. <laughs> it was this weird it's parenting. <laughs> For some reason, kids thought it was funny to stick a stick in dog poop and chase each other around with it. <laughs> but that scared the crap out of me. Because of the cleanliness problem of it? Like no, because it's Like spreading germs? <laughs> it's just dog poop! Because it's afraid of sticks. <laughs> but now, Jeremy Renner, though, yours is brilliantly specific, and I think we... Pro- I, without it knowing it, I think we probably all share it. We, we may. I don't know. I, I didn't have the, the fear when I was younger because we've all we all go through this. But it's when uh, a little child and I'm the, I'm the oldest of seven kids and I got a lot of little rugrats running around and they, these little roaches start losing their teeth and they get a little wiggly and they like to show me like this little dagger flipping in and out of their mouth and I'm like look up the Jeremy want to pull this thing out. I'm like I get out of here. You're freaking me out. <laughs> but don't you think that is really freaky? Are you? you it's like I mean, her thumb. <laughs> it's just we. Really, yeah. Again. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It just, it just really yeah. kind of grosses me out. The cutest little thing on the planet starts to do like the creepiest thing on the planet. And I'm like, get out of here. It's like, here, tie the string to my thing to the doorknob. I'm like, get out of here, creep. <laughs> disgusting animal. Oh, yeah, terrible. This stage. That's uh, now. No. <laughs> now. Running around, flipping their little fake, their teeth falling out. Look, we all have this, you know, when you're, you're, you have the dreams, your teeth fall out. I don't know what it means. Does anybody know what it means? We get bigger ones. <laughs> no, we, you have bad dreams. You have, oh, am I the only uh, one that has bad no, dreams? No, weird. A friend, of mine, a friend of mine just had that dream too. I yes, had, just oh, a friend of yours? Night. Yeah, not me. Not what does you? that mean? I think that's I don't something know. to do with know, fear, this of is money. fear of money, I think. I think that's what the teeth Who has fear out. of money? <laughs> Maybe, not afraid maybe of I'm just afraid of my teeth fucking falling out. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Now, Josh, what do you fear? What are you afraid of? Well, I was gonna go with flying, but I think I'll go with um, girls shit. over twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the last minute of my life, I wouldn't have predicted that. <laughs> How was it? Mark Ruffalo. You're not going to believe what he said to me. <laughs> but he was bang on the money. <laughs> oh, He's a very oh, perceptive shit. man. Oh. <laughs> it was the Dora poem. <laughs> Don't try and justify it. <laughs> Do you know what? I've always hated the Hulk. He's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him angry. Yeah, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Ruffalo. That's right. <laughs> I, my son said that to me the other day when he was mad at me. <laughs> oh, no. What, that you wouldn't oh, like him? I always hated the Hulk. I think he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hold that the Spice Girls have over you? Is this real? Yes, it's real. And, and I just feel like I've been talking more about the Spice Girls on this press tour than I have about the movie. Because you wept. You wept I in did Australia. Weep. I know, I wept. Did you really weep? I really did. But now, which one was talking to you? Mel B. And was she really talking to you or was it a message? No, it was a video message on an iPad. And that made you cry? Yes. <laughs> what, were you jet lagged? Yes. <laughs> but I also, you don't, un- I mean, I, you do understand because uh, we're in the UK. Yeah. I was. I was a fiend. I was obsessed with the Spice Girls. And they taught me about girl power. Mm. And I love them. I think they're fantastic. What's and this, I'm. What's the song? 
There's so many, Jamie. There's so many. <laughs> No, spice up your life. Every boy and every girl. Spice up your life. Hey. There's so many, and they're so fantastic. And today on the radio, um, Mel C talked to me over Skype. Oh, wow. Oh. So it's really very exciting. Okay, now, who would you say is your favorite Spice Girl? Emma Bunton, Baby Spice. She's your favorite. Okay. She's my favorite. Who's next? <laughs> Don't do that. Just a question. All of the other four. So Emma Bunton. Well, Emma Bunton was the one that I had blonde hair and bangs, and my name obviously is now Emma. My name was Emily, but it was taken when I became an actor. Um, and so <laughs> now it's Emma. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I love. So get me this. So, so you, one gave you a video message, and one talked to you on Skype. Yes. But are you telling me you've never met are you a Spice do, Girl? Are you going to do something right Have now? you never met a Spice Girl? Are you going to do something really? Have you never met a Spice Girl? I'm, wait, hold on. I have to mentally prepare myself. Have you never met a Spice Girl? Not in the flesh. Okay. Now, as Don't. you know, as you know, as you know, Emma, he, it is very rare, it is very rare for more than one Spice Girl to appear together <laughs> for at all. So, they're not here. Oh. 